When I first came to Georgia Tech, David Harrell came and gave a talk. And as in the paper, in the talk, he talked about his digital watch. And he presented a model of the digital watch. He, he in fact, had used that as a way of stressing his diagramming technique to see if it was capable of uh, representing the, the features of the, of the digital watch. From the paper, here's, here's the example of the digital watch uh, from a high-level view. Notice that there are really two states here. One is the dead state and one is the alive state, separated by uh, whether the battery is placed inside or so on. And then there are five concurrently executing uh, sub-machines inside the alive state, each of which has their own uh, activities going, going on. And there's even further nesting down in the lower right-hand uh, concurrent machine. The fact that state charts support nesting means you can pull out any of these sub-machines and consider them um, independently. You can even provide details in the pulled-out version that weren't visible in the top-level version. Here's an example of the stopwatch state. Uh, it makes use of a history state. You'll notice there it had its own uh, default state for the, for the stopwatch itself in the zero step. There's also a guarded uh, transition using the in keyword that I mentioned before. Here's a pullout on the display state. Notice that the state itself has a self transition over on the left that indicates that there's a two minute timer. What this is saying is if you were in one of the uh, display states, other than the default state, after two minutes, it will, um, it will flip back unless you were in the stopwatch state, in which case it'll keep, uh, keep you looking at the stopwatch. 